Roblox doesn't support glow effects for UI. And normally, UI designers take care of it. But that doesn't mean we can't brute force our way. Let me explain how. This is our frame, let's call it main. And we wanted to have a glow effect based on three parameters. Thickness, transparency and color. Unlike strokes, glows should have a decreasing transparency, a gradient. With a frame and a UI gradient for each side, we can cover left, right, top and bottom. But what about corners? With studio tools, we can make corner circles, but our linear gradients won't look good on them. This asset has the radial gradient we need. I know its dimensions which lets me calculate the corner pieces correctly. To hold these 8 objects, I'm gonna need a separate frame, layered below main. Let's call this one holder. The only thing left is to calculate the position and the sizes. Position calculation is straightforward, center of main. Size calculation gets tricky with rounded corners. No corners? Holder size equals main size, and object size equals thickness. Rounded corners? We need corner radius compensation. Calculate the absolute corner radius, subtract it from main size. This keeps our corners aligned. Then, add corner radius back to thickness to maintain the glow distance. Now, let's see this math in action. When you do the calculations, your functions will look like this. Applying transparency and color is just as you think. Now, let's fill the function. Clone the holder, place it below main, call the update functions, set up an attribute based configuration for color and transparency, bind to a couple of signals just in case and return the holder. It will be a very easy and intuitive one liner to call the function. And the result speaks for itself. That's brute force glove effects. If you want to take a closer look, you can find the place file under the resources section in my discord channel. As an exercise, you may go ahead and create drop shadows with this technique. Then we can compare our solutions in my next video, stay tuned. And as always, thanks for watching, have a nice day.